welcome back to the Norwood Suite. Today is going to be a bit of a hit and a bit of a miss. We'll start with the hit, the pool guy. Yeah, let's go do the pool guy. This area is strangely quiet compared to the rest of the hotel. Can't we all just switch off and sleep under a giant staring head? This is my favorite character. He doesn't speak. Ever. Let's go to room 209. I've been curious about this staircase near the end of the second floor hallway here. Does it take us somewhere special? Nope. It's just the third floor and the shortcut to the Norwood suite. That door 308 is tempting. Maybe I should take a peek inside in the next video. It's a bit bare. Oh, it's, um, right. It's upside down. Kind of like that room near the end of the original Thief. And this looks like a step chart for a dance move. I suppose it makes sense to move all the furniture into the ceiling and leave the floor free for dancing. Is the world flipped too? No, it's this room that is wrong. We've got the jacket without any effort. Something something news. Okay, it's time for the secret passage. What are we going to learn about here today? Again, what the fuck? There appears to be a gigantic void inside this hotel. I hope it's not load-bearing. Now we're back to the pool. And the sleeping guy is gone. This is the handbook for that company that's all over this place. A pop psychologist is helping them to brainwash their flock into submission. So, this quest didn't take any time at all. I suppose we should start another mission. The thread was showing some interest in the lobby musicians and the board game guys. So, which one? Maybe the board games? I think I remember the quest itself. You know what, no. It's really short, we could do it some other time. Any time. These three, though, are... I've completely forgotten what that plot is like.
these guys were probably intended to be the first you see, that with their plot dump. Unfortunately, we know most of it already. <laughs> Do I look like a promoter? Right, they want a Norwood music book and we know where to find one. So fucking boring. They don't want blank sheets. Fine, let's show them something else. Did you say? Oh, look who's talking. You're wearing basically the same shade all over yourself. I remember that reception guy had a rather detailed hint about getting what they want. Here we go. A spa locker area. The lockers are near the pool, so back to the pool we go. Is it here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe the shower stalls.
Nope, nothing. But there was another locker room. Suspicious. Something's definitely off in that corner. Yeah, there must be a secret door. You see that? We do not have the locker key. So, this is a miss. But, the moment we see a locker key for this section, we can immediately go down here and do the deed. Uh, where the hell am I going? The closest way to the Norwood suite is up the stairs. Let's go stick our jacket onto that dummy. It's um, got a lot of muscle for a skeleton. Wait, this letter, have I read it? Nope, missed it. In 1968, Gabe D was a part of Norwood's ensemble. He is still his student, but he wants to have an ensemble of his own someday. is hiding them. So, we've achieved something today, but not as much as we could have. And I'm still resisting the temptation to check out the 308. Perhaps I shouldn't. There could be a quest item there. Oh, something else I want to check out. I think Nadia's dialogue changes at some point in the game. I just don't know what that point is. She must be still talking about pizza. Yes, we're still on the pizza stage of the evening. I should have picked the library, guys. We would have been done with their quest already. Show our items to the front desk, guys. Nothing interesting happens. That could be used to describe this update as well. Anyway, this is the end. Next time, we'll go wherever, while keeping an eye out for a locker key.